Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to today's tutorial and we'll be doing a Ndebele pattern. So for this Ndebele pattern, we'll be using our Ndebele stitch. So for this uh, pattern and stitch, we'll be using black and white beads. It's not going to be this part only. We're going to have between three or four parts for this tutorial. If there's a lesson that I've learned from the previous tutorial is that <laughs> it can be three or four, or four parts. So what materials we'll be using for this pattern? We're going to be using your eight knot zest beads. You only need two colors. You need your black and your white. But I, I would say you need more of your black beads than your white beads. And then you'll be using our upholstery thread and your needle. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm using a black upholstery thread. Uh, let me show you. Yes, so this is the upholstery thread I'm using. I'm using a black one. This is because the pattern is dominantly black so i want my work to be nice and neat so that's why i'm using a black upholstery thread so what i'm going to do i am going to be using a single thread meaning at the end i won't be tying the two tails together so i'm going to make a knot only on one tail so i'm not going to join the two tails of the thread together Oh, I've already added my needle, so I'm going to make the first knot, and then I'm going to make the second knot on top of the other knot. So I'm going to get my beads ready. So you're going to first start with your black beads. We're going to start with our... Um, leather stitch <laughs> it's, a, it's a leather leather stitch so you're going to pick up two beads put them side to side and then you take your needle you insert it on into the first bead that you picked up so it's the bead that is closest to the end of your tail so you insert your needle into that bead in an upwards direction you pull and then so your beads will be layered side by side and then you insert your needle into the next bead then you pick up one bead so you only pick up two beads when you are starting so now you're going to pick up one bead one black bead insert your needle into the last bead and then because you inserted your needle downwards now you're going to insert upwards So the trick here is that before you pick up your next bead, just make sure that your thread is on the last bead and not on the previous bead. So that's when you know that, okay, it's time for me to add another bead. So you pick up another bead, insert your needle. So this is what I meant. If your thread is not um, on the bead that is close, that is at the end, then you're not ready to pick up another bead. So you make sure that your your thread is on the last bead. So by doing that, I'm going to move my needle downwards. So it does happen that maybe when you add another bead, you 
on the last bead your thread will be, will be moving upwards for example here it, it it's moving downwards <laughs> sorry then i pick up one bead Set a needle into the last bead so this time it's moving upwards so you don't focus whether your thread is moving upwards or downwards as long as your thread is on the last bead that's where you know that you are ready to pick up another bead so you want to keep on moving and adding your beads until you have 28 Beads. Want to keep doing this until you have 28 beads. Want to move do the stitch until you have 28 beads. So currently I have six beads. That means I have 22 more beads to add, and I'm going to come back once i have my 28 beads i come back with my 28 beads so these are my 28 beads so one thing you have to make sure with in double stitch is that for your foundation your beads are an even number big everything is going to go in pairs so now we're going to move on and make the second row so what you're going to do now is pick up two beads so from this point on moving forward we are just going to be picking up two beads we'll be adding two beads at the same time okay so here are my two black beads you take your needle you insert it sorry into the second bead down and then from the bottom you move your needle upwards you insert your needle into that third bead and you move up with your thread and then you pick up two beads Take your needle, you insert it into the second bead. The second bead. And you pull down. And then you insert your needle into the next bead. From the bottom, moving up. Once. then you pick up two beads so this is what you're going to do throughout your entire row until you get to the end so this is what i'm going to do off camera i'm going to continue adding the two beads throughout the entire row until I get to the end of the row so this is what you're going to keep doing move up pick up two beads move down move up pick up two beads move down I want to do this all the way until I get to the end and then we are going to come back so you're going to keep picking up your black beads throughout so this is the last uh, pair I'm going to add. I've added my pair throughout the entire belt. So now I'm going to pick up the last two beads of the row. So I'm going to add, insert my needle on the last bead into, not on. Okay. 
and then what i'm going to do i've turned what i'm going to do i'm going to insert my needle so as you can see here at the bottom of the the beads in between the two beads you have a thread connecting the two beads so what i'm going to do i'm going to hook my needle into that bridge of thread into that bridge of thread so it's either you hook that direction or you hook this direction in in inwards or outwards <laughs> so I've, I've done my hooking and then I'm going to insert my needle into the two beads the two last beads at the end Make sure the knot does not disturb us. And then I insert. And then I pull my thread. So now I am ready for my third row. So I'm going to pick up two black beads. Insert my needle. Pick up another two black beads. So what I want to do now is start on the two blocks on the two white blocks on the sides. So we've added our two, our four black beads. So now I'm going to start introducing the white beads. So we're going to pick up six of those white beads. So we're going to start with our first two white beads. The camera keeps being blur and then clear, blur and then clear. I'm sorry about that. Then I'm going to pick my second pair. So this is going to make my four beads. Four white beads in total. And then I'm going to pick up the last two white beads. So this is going to be the first block. And then we're going to create the the second block on the other side on the other side so now we're going to keep because we've added our six beads now we're going to continue with our black beads we're going to start with our first two black beads Insert my needle. So queens and kings, how is the stitch going? The color one, the color stitch going. Is it coming along? The Ndabella stitch that we did before this one. Is it coming along well, well? How is it coming? How is it going? I hope it's going well. Let me check. Okay. So here, this is going to be the last uh, two black beads that we're going to add. And then we're going to do the second color on the other side. So in total you have your eight black beads so now we're going to get started with what i love with um ndebele patterns is that they are symmetrical 
for example where the half part of your pattern is the same as the other half of your pattern most of the patterns let me say most but so far i haven't seen patterns that are the two sides are different so this is my first two white beads and then i pick up my second two white beads So today is a is a Wednesday and tomorrow in South Africa okay around the world is June 16 but in South Africa June 16 is different it's not just any other day so I'm just I'm, I'm I'm very I'm debating with myself if I should post this tutorial on the day or the next day I think uh, my queens and kings will be too busy <laughs> they'll be very very occupied on the 16th of june so i think maybe i'm gonna post the video on friday which will be the 17th i'm, I'm just debating with myself but hey the weather might change a lot of people's plans hey eh? oh, it's so cold it's it's abnormally cold. Phew. You know, I ask myself if I would be able to manage to live in a place where it snows, you know? Because I'm so used to warm weather. Okay, I have a knot here. I'm going to work on fixing it. I managed to fix the, the knot. So we're going to add the two black beads. Oh, I think I'm going to create another knot <laughs> if I'm not careful. Okay, so now I'm done with adding the two black beads. Now I'm going to move on to the second row. So what I'm going to do is first hook my needle in between the bridge. And then I move up. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to continue adding two more rows of the same. So, I'm going to start with four black beads, six white beads, eight black beads, six white beads, and four black beads. So, I'm going to continue adding. Um, two more rows and then we're going to come back so i've added two more rows and this is how it looks like so now you're going to add three more rows of plain black beads so you're going to add your first row of plain black beads second row of plain black beads and the third row of your plain black beads i'm not going to film that part uh because i feel like it's not necessary so i'm going to come back once i've added the three the three rows so i've added my three rows so now i'm going to start off by adding 10 black beads so i'm gonna add 10 black beads and then i'm going to come back so i've added my 10 black beads so now for this pattern in total we're supposed to have 11 black beads so the reason i wanted us to pick it together so we're going to have 11 black beads um six white beads and 11 black beads so now for this pair you, so we added our 10 beads so for this pair you're going to pick up after adding your 10 black beads you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead one black bead and one white bead and then 
you want to make sure that you have six white beads in total so the second pair is going to be our two white beads and then our third pair is going to be our two white beads so in total we have five white beads so to make it six we want to pick up one white bead and one black bead one white bead and one black bead so just to confirm we have two four six white beads so now we're just going to continue with the rest of the row we're going to add our black beads so we're going to make sure here we have 11 black beads so so we've already added the first black bead for our 11 so the remaining piece that we're going to add are going to be 10 black beads so now i've finished with my black so now i'm going to start a new row so what we're doing now is the stem of our butterfly so i'm going to do four more uh, lines that are the same so you're going to do the same thing where you have 11 black 6 white 11 black but you want to add four more lines so in total you're going to have five lines and that's where we're going to stop for today's tutorial but i'll come back and show you how it is so this is how it looks like once i've added my four lines so this is where we're going to stop for today's tutorial so on the next tutorial we're going to be start we're going to start to add the wings on this side and that side and we're going to introduce wings and we are also going to rejoin our thread i would like to show you how we go about when your thread runs out using your ndebele stitch stitch thank you so much for watching queens and kings I love you guys so, so much. Remember to love yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself, and have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. See you on the next video. Bye.